The panel on the far right includes all the tabs necessary for the step-by-step -step creation of a template. Click on the corresponding tab to import an STL file and then on the Add STL icon. Search your computer and select the file corresponding to the treated patient by selecting Open. In cases where the matching between the DICOM and the STL files occurs through the residual teeth, select a line to DICOM or another STL in the window that appears and proceed. The screen will be divided in two with the previously imported DICOM file on one side and the STL model on the other. Use the levels next to the DICOM display to adjust the density providing a better recognition of the details useful for matching. Rotate the objects while holding down the left button of the mouse and hold the right one down to zoom in or out. Proceed by selecting at least five points on the arch, making sure that they are all equally distributed. The selection must be made on one file at first and then on the other by applying the points in the same position. Use the right panel to manage those points. Use the Align Surface to Selected Object button to finalize the matching. You can check the precision of the matching on the home screen by using the cursors to move and verify that the SDL file corresponds to the profile of the DICOM. If necessary, move or rotate the SDL file to improve its positioning. Minimize the gray areas to obtain a good matching. Import the DICOM file. In this case, it must have been obtained by using the radiological template and radiopaque markers in the patient's mouth. The presence of radiopaque markers and their uniform distribution throughout the arch is important to provide an improved matching of the two files in all areas. Click on Add STL to import the radiological template and select the file corresponding to the treated patient in the folder where you saved it. In cases where the matching of the DICOM and SDL files was done by using the model and radiological template, select Put to Original Coordinates from the window and proceed. Select Add SDL again and import the file corresponding to the patient's model. In this case, two SDL files must be imported, one containing the model and the other corresponding to the radiological template. A window will appear asking you to decrease the model mesh in cases where models have extremely complex meshes. Click Yes for a faster import. Align the new STL by selecting Put to Original Coordinates and proceed. The two files are now both precisely mutually positioned. You will need to group them together by using the Group function. Select the two files, Model and Radiological Template, in the window that appears and press Confirm. This action allows you to move them in space easily and place them simultaneously on the DICOM using the Align function. A window will appear where you can indicate which files you want to match with the two SDL files. Select DICOM and proceed. The screen will be divided in two parts with the previously imported DICOM file on one side and the SDL model on the other. Then proceed to select the markers. The selection must be performed on one file first of all and then on the other by selecting the point on the same position. Use the Align Surface to Selected Object button to finalize the matching. You can check the position of the matching on the home screen by using the cursors to move and verify that the STL file corresponds to the profile of the DICOM. If necessary, move or rotate the STL file to improve its positioning. 